Today I'm going to make a little tiny Cornish game hen. Um, they're like little tiny chickens. Actually, they are little tiny chickens. I was getting them at the grocery outlet for um, $3.99 a piece, and that was a really good price. I think they were $6.99 other places. I haven't looked lately, so I don't know if they have them anymore, but these are so great. They're either for two people with small appetite or one person with a big appetite. I'm going to put one in the oven right now, and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Here's the Cornish game hen uh, once it's out of the package. They come frozen, so defrost them in the package, and then I open them up over the sink because there's always some icy liquid left in it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it right down the breastbone and open it up and lay it flat on the pan. I'm just going to go ahead and spray this pan with a little bit of oil to help prevent some sticking, even though the chicken already has its own oil there. As you can see, this is just a tiny little guy. It was real easy to cut open because um, the bones are so thin. So I'm going to season the inside, and then I'm going to throw them upside down and season the back and put them in the oven. My general default seasoning for this sort of thing is some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some seasoned salt. It's just kind of a good generic uh, seasoning combo. So I'm going to put some of uh, the wrong one. I'm going to put some seasoned salt on first. Yeah, and then I'm going to put some uh, onion powder oops, and some garlic powder. You can cook these with um, vegetables and potatoes too, but I'm going to be making some rice with this, so I'm just going to cook it by itself. All right, that side's done. I'm going to flip this guy over. I don't know why I presume it's a guy, but whatever. And I'm going to season the same way on this side with the onion powder, the garlic powder, and the seasoned salt. The oven is on at 375, and I'm going to whoops, stick them in. I'll come in a couple times maybe, open the oven, and get a spoon, and kind of baste it that way, and should be ready in about, I don't know, 45 minutes. We'll see. I was at uh, Dollar Tree looking at the Noor's rices, and I saw they had a something called chicken rice, and it looked pretty good. And then I realized I have rice at home and I have chicken broth at home, so I'm going to make it myself real easy. I'll show you how. Well, first your rice, and look at your instructions for your rice. The instructions for this rice is um, a two-for-one, so I'm going to put a cup of, cup of rice in there, one part rice, and then two parts liquid. And I do have... You have two cups of uh, chicken broth, just exactly two cups. So I'm going to pour that in, and I'm going to cook it just like I would cook regular rice on the stove. Let it come to a boil, then simmer it down. Be right back. Well, here's the Cornish game hen, all cooked, ready to go. You can see it's pretty good size. They cook pretty quick, uh, being that they're so small. And here's the chicken rice, all done also. So between the two of them, it's a pretty good evening's meal and a uh, nice thing to have on a cold evening like tonight. Hope your meals are good and you're doing well, and thank you so much for watching.